to another installment of Mini Music Monday, the Bake Sale Editions. This is number three. Got it? I don't quite get it, but I know you've got it. I don't care if nothing else goes my way all day. That's Jason Lowenstein's composition, Got It, Mm -hmm. as first heard on the Bake Sale record, released on the 23rd of August, 1994. That one is, it's kind of dancing toward my number one, maybe. I'm not going to reveal my list yet. We said next week for the last installment of Bake Sale uh, Mini Music, Lou and I will share our personal rankings from... Favorite to, I guess, just the least favorite on the album. I was under the impression that that was the most played Sebado song on iTunes when iTunes first started showing you like oh. what what song by an artist was played the most. Uh-huh. That would always pop up and I would use that. I would try to encourage Jason to play his songs oh. live because Jason was, you know, he's a... He's a humble guy. It's difficult to get him to play the hits. Sometimes I'd be like, hey, Jason... Did you know God It is the number one most streamed Sebado song? I didn't know that. He didn't seem impressed by it at all. In fact, I don't think he believed me. <laughs> so, which is, you know, well, not I, unusual, but <laughs> for friends of mine, acquaintances. I, um, oh, well, that's interesting. I didn't know that. I don't know. I, yeah. Hmm. I don't know what the truth is. Spotify is much more exact these days. but hmm. Yeah, I haven't uh, looked at what would be... Is that when you look at an artist and it says like popular? Although I noticed that, you know, sometimes it'll give you like four or five songs that are considered like the most popular, at least on Spotify for an artist. Mm -hmm. But when you look at... Oh. Oh. Song commencing now. Should I I continue my thought after? If 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 you can remember. Yes, I can remember. Oh. I'm gonna... Okay. That is, um, the song I'm going to play is called Together or Alone. Uh Uh-huh. And the story I like to tell that I often tell, that I always tell before I play this song live, is that I inadvertently ripped off the intro to Black Magic Woman by Santana. Oh, yes. I have heard you tell that story. (laughs) Yeah. And I did. And I didn't realize until the record had come out already and I was listening. You know, it's exciting when you get the record back mm-hmm. you know and you know for the first time you're like here i am and i used to get really listening to my vinyl really baked i used to get really baked oh a la bake sale uh-huh. that's the title the title comes from like a getting stoned session it was like a oh. bake sale okay um i mean pot not reference. surprise <laughs> <laughs> sebado and a pot reference <laughs> <laughs> but um so I listened, you know, we got the record back and I, you know, I put it on the turntable for the first time and that song played and I'm like, gosh, that sounds familiar. Like this is, it had already been recorded and released. For Together or Alone. Yeah. And I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> I stole it from Santana. <laughs> you were influenced by Santana. Let's just say it. I don't think I've actually heard that song all the way through, Black Magic Woman. Yeah. It's a very long song. It's a very long song. It's a long and it's kind of... God bless Carlos Santana and what he's brought to music and yes, um, and his stellar performances. I, like I assume Santana. everybody yeah. loves Santana. Yeah, Rob Thomas loves Santana. Sure does. Um, everybody's favorite guest star, Santana. There for a I while. I think he de- designs shoes now. I'm sure he does. I swear to God, I feel like when I'm like on my little Nordstrom app and I'm looking <laughs> at women's shoes, it's like Carlos Santana high heels. I'm going. <laughs> Is that wow. the Carlos Santana? I think it is. That's great. 
That's I like mean, the, that's like what a, are the odds? I don't know, but it's like an old guy's dream job. Like, I haven't actually. I'm designing. Like, <laughs> I'm designing high heels for women. I haven't actually deep dive to see if it really is him. I'm sure it would take the tiniest dive, not a deep dive. I would just have to literally Google like, is Carlos Santana of the shoes the same Carlos? Sant-? And it would before I would even finish the question, Google would it would answer it for me. So well, we should find that out. Anyway, I'm gonna yeah. play. I'm gonna play the song. Okay. How about I'll look that up while you play the song? Okay, cool. <laughs> it was never my intention To blindly feed the boy-girl game I know romance isn't everything I'm obsessing just the same Because today I don't feel worthy You seem so beautiful and strong These unsure hands could never soothe you too afraid of doing something wrong And this confusion wears me down Until I feel like a nervous stranger And could I help you grow? I guess we'll never know Set up for the letdown But these things happen all the time And though I'm longing to explore it again I'm too scared of what you'll find This confusion makes me smile The way I smile when I'm with you Cause there's so much we could do Together all alone I'm not afraid of being alone Yes. That was a nice version. Your voice sounds warmed up. It does? Mm-hmm. I did it a few times today, and when I was doing it, I thought that I, I was like, wow, I sound really young. And then I started the song mm. just now, and I was like, wow, I sound really old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh. oh, and I have a funny, there's another, there's a, <laughs> I'm like, wow, how did I do that? I aged to my age, I think, mm. somehow. You grew up. I grew up in the last um, 45 minutes, but... um. There's there's a funny thing somebody told me once. They they misheard the lyrics when I go like, <laughs> it was never my intention to blindly feed the boy cocaine. <laughs> so I think of that every time I sing it. And every time I sing that song, I almost sing that line. Wait, I think I spaced out. Did you say why you think that? Somebody told me oh, that they. Sorry. Somebody told me. Here, over I had, here. I had one of those podcast mo- time. <laughs> <laughs> I had it's that time again. Those, I know. Mini Music Monday. <laughs> Although it's Sunday. I had one of those tomorrow, moments where <laughs> um, I don't know if this happens to you, but I feel like any time <laughs> someone begins to explain a card game to me or the rules of any board game, I sit down with the intention of listening and learning. And it's like the second they open their mouth, it's like gone. And then when they're like, okay, you got it. So let's start playing. I- I'm like, I have no idea what just happened. I don't know what you told me. I don't know where I went. I, I did kind of non sequitur. I don't know how to play this I game. I understand. I understand. So I, yeah, my brain jumped in at the point where you said something about feeding the boy cocaine. 
Yeah. So someone <laughs> misheard That's the wrong. By someone the way. misheard the lyrics as. Okay. It was never my intention. Oh. Uh huh. To blindly feed the boy cocaine. Dang. <laughs> and I think of that What's every time. What's their brain thinking about? Who knows? Mm-hmm. They could be listening. If you told me that story and you're the person. Raise your hand. Yeah. Raise your your hand. Raise your finger to the internet and poke. <laughs> Poke it and then write a little thing. Download it. That was me. <laughs> yeah. I was doing a lot of blow at the time, so it was so, on my um, mind. Oh, so Carlos Santana. Yes. Yes, that's Carlos of Carlos Santana. And he started that shoe line in 2001. On their women's shoes. There's also men's, too, I think. Um, maybe. Are there high heels? Yes, there are there are shoes for men. There's a lot of high heels. I noticed them. <laughs> but okay, so there's two. Um, Carlos Santana's oh. distinctive artistry is incorporated into the design of his footwear lines, Carlos by Carlos Santana for Women and Carlos Santana Shoes for Men. Launched in 2001, this line is designed for women who are confident, self-aware, and fun-loving. The shoes are intended to be comfortable, high-quality, and long-lasting, and are made with traditional craftsmanship and Santana's rock and roll lifestyle. <laughs> this line includes casual shoes, dress shoes, boots, and fashion sneakers. What a great life he's led. I'm I mean, just, maybe, maybe there's wow. things I don't know. I maybe th- there's things I don't know. I was, um, I was in San Francisco. So yeah. One of the many times I've been there because I've been to San Francisco a fair amount of times you in my life. You've been to San Francisco so many times. I have been. So I was, um, at one point, I had a hotel that we, we I would walk from the hotel. We had we were, we were doing a bunch of nights in one club mm-hmm. in San Francisco, so I would walk from the hotel as you often do. Yeah, because you know we were playing like a smaller club, mm-hmm. and we played several nights there. So I was at the hotel. So on my way from my hotel, walking to the club to, for sound check and for the show, I passed by a high school, mm-hmm. and then I don't remember what kind of deduction I did, but I figured out that was. Carlos Santana's high school. So every time I walk by, I'm like, I'm walking by Carlos Santana's high school. I don't think it's called Carlos Santana High School yet. Like not named after him yet. Not named but... after him yet, but he went there. Oh, I didn't know he was yeah, from was San down, Francisco. Yeah, it was kind of like in the mission. Mm-hmm. And uh, so anyway, that's interesting. Yep, I think I think when I I would say that when I was um, when I was like a teenager, uh-huh. maybe my dream job would have been designing high-heeled shoes for women. <laughs> that was a while ago. I've since, like, <laughs> things have changed for me. Mm-hmm. My um, Could you design me some sensible orthopedic shoes for my feet? Yeah, for some reason. I don't know what it was. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I think, um, I don't know. At some point, I just, I just, my, I don't want to say fetish, but if I, I want to say that my, infatuation or my interest my mm-hmm. lurid interest in high heels went away interesting in in my my later years i didn't know that you really actually in your past had such a i made you wear wet wedges for a couple of days for the when we first got together in the first year do you remember i made you wear wear wedges you would ask me to put them on i would ask i didn't i didn't make you wear them i was them. gonna say you didn't make me wear them it yeah, wasn't the like thing. a whatever you know it wasn't like yeah i'm not i'm not you just would be like hey could you wear those with that dress or whatever and i'm like sure yeah but i wore wedges more than when i lived in la yeah it was more common for me to wear i was younger guys i was younger and uh as i get older i realize i have foot needs my 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 feet have needs and this is not interesting, but yeah, I mostly buy my shoes on orthopedic.com now. <laughs> I think it's fascinating. Well, and, I, ca- um, I care about my feet. We're health. talking about my the big health. <laughs> before I go, my foot health. Before I start talking more about feet, what are we talking about? Carla Santana, foot fetish. What's, what about bake sale? <laughs> <laughs> bake sale part three down the tube. Wow. <laughs> way distracted here. <laughs> I was what really. I happened? was planning on listening to the bake sale episodes to learn more backstory of Next the bake thing sale. Next you know, they're album. talking about Carlos Santana's <laughs> shoes and loose foot fetish. <laughs> what a perv! 
<laughs> he forced his girlfriend to wear wedges. He forced her. I was never forced, everybody. I. <laughs> it's more of a suggestion, like, hey, babe, I'd love to see you oh. in those wedges today. Just like I would say, hey, dear, I'd love to see you in this... It's a medley. Is this, are we still talking about bake sale? <laughs> it's a mini medley of bake sale. And we've already nice. talked for over 15 minutes about. I have one last thing to say. Thank you for listening to this third special ish episode. <laughs> Fetish ish. About the bake sale LP. Thank you for listening to Mini Music Monday. Tune in again. <laughs> Okay, everyone, so before we go, <laughs> I would like to force Lou to wear a gold chain that it just, it peeks out from underneath his t-shirts. It's not like, it, it, it can drape out occasionally well, wonder, if he wants, but I would like to force you to wear one. I wonder your if- Your birthday's coming I wonder up. if Do much I like, chain? Much like you wearing high heels for the first year of our relationship, I wonder if I wore the, the chain for a little while, then the fetish would disappear. You'd be like- I don't need any. You don't need any adornment. It's I don't true. need. To, I don't it need could to be like an unfulfilled sort of fantasy I have, yeah. where I get. I like to see men who wear gold jewelry. You know, like there's something super sexy to me about it, where I see like a little bit of a gold chain on their flesh. But maybe once you saw it on me, much like you wearing the high heels, you'd be like, mm -hmm. "Oh, it's done. I'm done with that now. Hmm. Let's move on." Well, kind of like my belt thing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're kind of making me want to pull out some wedges. I don't know. Mm. And a belt. And a belt. <laughs> All right, guys. Till next time. <laughs> Raw impressions. <laughs>